Previously on The Bill. Jack, if I'm right, you are asking the man who killed six of his colleagues to stand up and say what a tragedy it was. You're not going to say no to me, are you? No. No, I'm not. Chopsy. Long time no see. Guess what? We've got a warrant to search this place for drugs. Be my guess. What's this? Personal. You ought to give up, you know, mate. Oh, that's bad for your elf. Sir. Mark Jason Doyle, I'm arresting you for possession with intent to supply. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defense. Oh! Mention one question, gee. something which you later... I told you the dog wasn't mine. Yeah, right. So it just happened to be decomposing in your flat, right? This bloke I know asked me to look after him, yeah? Just for ten minutes. Said he was just nipping out for a paper and he never came back. It's a sin. I've seen more meat on a butcher's apron. You know, maybe the dog overdosed on the dodgy smack you've been selling. Why not? Three people have already blown their brains out. They're addicts. They got greedy and lucked out. Hey, we ain't talking about an overdose. The gear these people jacked up was cut with something toxic. Poison them. Not my problem, mate. Apart from the fact that we know at least two of them scored their last hit from you. Says who? Tina Richards. <laughs> <laughs> Tina Richards. <laughs> that girl's got no idea if it's New Year or New York. Now, now, Chubsy, she's your baby's mother. So what? Tina would swear blind Bin Laden was hiding out in her kitchen for the price of a £10 bag. She's a totally unreliable witness. Better luck next time, Thatcher. If it turns out that the heroin we found in your flat matches the same dodgy batch that killed those people, I'll make sure the charge is murder. After you. What's your history with this guy? Well, I've nicked Chopsy twice in the last couple of years, but I've never managed to get a conviction, you know? Well, there's always one that gets away. No, no, no. Not this time. This time, I'm gonna get him. I nail him. Good and proper. Trust me. Oh! Mr. Klein! You owe me 20 quid, mate. Me and a lovely Marilyn, we made the earth move. Literally. Actually, she's quite a dark horse, that one, I'm telling you. <laughs> Where's your proof? Up a load of this. That could be anyone's. Whoa, 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 whoa! Come, here, come, 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 come. I'll show you the proof. Hello, gorgeous. How you doing? Look, I was wondering, maybe we could have a little bit of an action replay. What are you doing tonight? I don't think so. No? Well, you probably want these back then. And, uh, if you ever do change your mind, don't call me. They're unbelievable. So the ladies tell me. Cheers, mate. Who needs a glass slipper, right? So what's the latest? We got Chopsy in custody. Can we be sure that this Chopsy's merchandise is a match for the contaminated heroin? Well, we don't get the results back from the lab for a while. How long? Could take up to four weeks. Great. So how many drug addicts die in the meantime? Is there any chance they're going to figure the supplier? Uh, I don't think so. Well, it's hardly surprising, is it? I mean, running with the RSPCA in a few years for dealing. It's hardly motivation for putting your neck on the line. Have you tried turning the heat up? Been at him all morning, Gov. Still refuses to talk. Short of sticking electrodes to his ghoulies. I think we should play this one straight. We've all been to this party, right? Guys like Chopsy are all cut from the same cloth. If he thinks he's going to benefit from helping us out, you never know. It's definitely worth another try. Keep up the pressure. Don't worry. We intend to. Come on, Chopsy man. Just tell us where you get your gear. No chance. This guy's a heavy operator. 
As soon as he finds out I've been arrested, he'll put two and two together and boom. Well, it's either there or a sentence for selling dirty gear. I fear things ain't too bad on the inside these days. Oh, yeah, they are. If you're coming off heroin. Like I said, I'll take my chances with the jury. And let's face it, so long as you're the arresting officer, the odds are pretty good that I'll get off scot-free. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for the purposes of the tape, I'd like to suspend this interview for five minutes. It's all right, Brandon. I just want to show Chopsy what freedom looks like. When I... oh, hey! oh, no! Get me my brief. Listen, I hate to admit it, but we can't force you to give us your supplies. Exactly. Name. So you're wasting your time here, boys. Why on earth would I want to cut off the hand that feeds me, eh? <laughs> I may be many things, but I ain't stupid. Your man's not cracking. Let's just bang him up on the dealing charge and throw away the key. Yeah, I would have loved to, but the DCI is on our case. Rob, we, we can't blow this. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. So what do you suggest? Hey, you know Chopsy better than me. <laughs> no, mate. Not anymore. Not since Tina left him. <laughs> you know, they used to call them John and Yoko. That's before he started sampling his own medicine. Okay. Then let's go talk to Yoko. Tina! It's Rob! Hurry up! She's definitely in there. We don't know that for sure. Look, why don't we just banjo the door down? Whoa, whoa, why don't we just chill out, eh? Police, open up! Yeah, that'll work. Right. Sierra Oscar from Sierra Oscar 2-1. Can a unit bring an enforcer to 17 Bramall House? There's no need. Sierra Oscar from Sierra Oscar 2-1. Cancel that, please. It brings back memories of home, this. Me old man down the booze, me mum at work, me and my sister letting ourselves in. And you're all having balm cakes for tea, yes, very lovely. Can we open the door now, please? Bingo. You've done this before. Oh, good luck, Harry. Tina? Tina? Hello, honey. Look like mummy's been flogging her furniture again, eh? In here now! Sierra Oscar from Sierra Oscar 2-1. Urgent request for an ambulance, please. Too late, Gary. She's dead. The horrible thing is nobody seems to care. Such is the sad life of a drug addict, mate. Oh, I wasn't talking about... No, that. you're right, mate. Could quite easily have been me lying there if I hadn't gone into recovery when I did, who knows? Listen, guys, social services haven't got anyone at the moment, so do you mind taking them back no, to no, the no, station? No, 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 take that, take that. Yeah, come on, gorgeous. I've got you. Here we go. You play oh. with that. Thank you, Nick. There we go, you're welcome. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Is that good? Brandon, it's cold turkey time. Someone needs a fix. I'm doing okay. Don't make me laugh. Look at you, you're in a terrible state. And you know what, Chopsy? Things are even going to get worse. Tina Richards is dead. That woman's been brain dead for years. He's all heart, your client. We need you to make a formal identification. Don't lie about them things. It ain't funny, man. Two of our officers found her in her flat this morning. We think she might have shot up some dirty gear. I don't believe you. You're trying it on. You think I don't know about your stupid little games. It's a joke, right? You see us laughing. Oh, and your kid, Annie, is about to be taken into care. Sir, there's someone to see you. Good of you to see me, Jack. I'm sorry. We should talk about Des Taverner. Not here. Always the gentleman. 
Inspector Andrew Conway, DC Kate Spears. Look, DC I thought we covered all this. What is it you want? Simpson solicitors have decided to contact the DPS and they have decided to investigate Des Tavener for giving a full statement the night of the fire. So you came all this way to tell me in person? Jack, they'll be in touch today. I thought you should know. Well, thanks for your concern. Do you not even want to know why Des lied? Well, if he did, I think it's down to the DPS to decide, don't you? This DCI at Sun Hill. I thought you might be interested. So when you unveil the memorial to those who died in the fire, you're quite happy, are you, to let the man who killed them stand here and say what a tragedy it was? Look, Simpson killed them and he's in prison where he belongs. So why is Simpson saying Taverner framed him? Why is Simpson so adamant that Des Taverner started that fire himself? And you believe a racist? If he's telling the truth, Jack, Des Taverner is guilty. Stick to being a PI, Sally. Lead justice for the courts. An elderly lady, Agnes Brown, was attacked and robbed on her front doorstep. I need you on it straight away. Where is she? She's still at home in a pretty bad way, poor soul. She'll be going down on myself, really, but... I don't think you should be doing that much, you know. Not in your condition. I'm pregnant. I'm not paralysed. Look, I was thinking, do you fancy moving into my house? I mean, it's not exactly Buckingham Palace. All it needs is a lick of paint and a woman's touch. Slow down, Des. You're freaking me out. Just let me tell Patrick first. The last thing I want is him finding out second-hand that it's not his baby. And I have to tell Inspector Gold yet. Let's just take things one step at a time. Reg, I need you to get down to Gunner Street with Des straight away. Charge on, mate. Will you carry Des or what? What's Shirley going to do about the baby? We've sorted it. We? Yeah, but she doesn't want anyone knowing, so keep it on your heart, all right? Oh, don't worry, your secrets are safe with me, aren't they? Hey, you're saying a few words when they unveil the plaque today? Yeah, for me, soon. Good man. Bloody useless, you lot. You what? Makes you wonder why we have to pay poll tax. Public services? What kind of service do the police think they can offer the likes of me? No wonder these people think they can get away with murder. What happened? I reckon he must have followed me from the post office. I just got my key in the door and he punched me. Did you get a good look at him? Oh, I a streak of muck with red hat and baggy pants. But I gave him a run for his money, so I did. Very near took the face off him. Oh, you Liverpool supporter then, eh? Oh, never mind that. What about the lowlife who did this? What are you going to do about him? It's high time you lot pulled the finger out and got your act together. Hang on a minute. He left these behind, dropping on the doorstep. And in case anyone's interested, you're bound to get some of that DNA from under me nails. Mrs Brown, I think you've been watching too much Cagney and Lacey, love. Are you being cheeky? Look, you're probably still in shock. Why don't we sit you down and Clear then... Clear we'll... off! Don't patronise me, you stupid guess. Why didn't you get out there and, and find the filthy, rotten article who stole me pension? Come in. Uh, a neighbour reported seeing a male who fits the description of the attacker leaving Agnes Brown's house. Did you get him? We've searched the immediate vicinity, but we haven't found anything yet. Oh, let's have the local rag. There's a great panic amongst the elderly in Sun Hill. Yes, ma'am. Is there something else? Uh, no. Nothing that can't wait. You sure? Well, there probably is something we need to discuss. I'm pregnant. Oh, congratulations, Sheila. Yeah, it's great. And would you pass on my congratulations to Patrick? That's if congratulations are in order. Yeah, why wouldn't they be? Well, sometimes these things are not planned. Tell me about it. This one came right out of the blue. Any regrets? Uh, no, I'm getting the full support I need, so I'm really looking forward to it. Good, as long as everyone's happy. How far gone are you? Nearly four months. Then as of now, you're grounded. You know the rules. Off you go. Mum. Oh, well, that's brilliant, isn't it? I mean, by the time we get these results back, the fella's gonna be halfway to Cyprus. I'll forget it. Forensics aren't going to be ready for ages. 
Oh, well, there's no one following Agnes on the CCTV. Our man must have just been in the air and he's taken a chance. Agnes is right. Wake, Flap. Oh, speak for yourself. What's wrong with you, time of the month or something? Uh, what was that about having everything under control? It is all under control. Gina, it's not good news, I'm afraid. The DPS are investigating a member of your relief. Oh, why is it trouble, fellas? Some people are on like a bad stench. There's Tavener being one of them. Well, Johnson thinks she's got proof that he lied in his original statement. She thinks that he fitted Simpson up to take the rap for the fire. Well, why would he do that? To cover his tracks. Hang on a minute. What you're saying is she thinks that Des Tavener caused the fire here at Sun Hill? That's a theory. Oh, please. That means he would have killed six of his colleagues. You think he's guilty? I hope not. If you're suspicious, what are you going to do about it? Nothing. We have to do this by the book. It's in the hands of the DPS now. Uh... What now? Search me, mate. I've got a scuba. What's going uh, Catherine, I don't suppose you could help us out. Uh, sweet. Two men and a baby. Whose is it? Well, social services, but they'll be here any minute. I just thought you might want to take over. Yeah, we've got loads of notes to write up. Don't ask. I'm not the maternal type. Good luck, boys. Thank you. Gina, we've nicked this dealer. He's not giving us anything. What's his name? Mark Doyle. Oh, Chopsy, he gets himself about. Well, we suspect he's been dealing in contaminated heroin and went after the supplier. See, I do you always have all the answers. What do you need from me? Well, I thought maybe you could talk to one of your informants. They might know something about the dodgy heroin. Okie dokie. Always a pleasure to help. Thanks, Gina. Are you sure? You must recognise one of them. No, I'm absolutely certain he's not there. Oh, well, thanks for your help anyway, Mrs. Brown. But he must be there. I mean, you said you got a good look at him. That's right. But what can I do if he's not on your files? You may be happy to fit someone up for a crime they didn't commit, PC Taverner, but I certainly wouldn't want that on my conscience. Oh, let's face facts. There's not a cat in hell's chance of you lot catching this man. Well, a lot of crimes like this do go unresolved, but I mean... I'll nail them. You better add, I got friends in high places. Who's that like? Colombo? Laugh all you like, you big lumbox, but mark my word. You'll be sorry if you don't get a result. Look, we'll catch him, love. All right. You promised Agnes you're going to find him. You can't guarantee that. Will you just get off my case? It's not my fault some old woman thinks she's starring in an American cop show. Who am I to burst a bubble? I just think you're being unrealistic, that's all. Well, what do you want me to do? Tell her that the fellow who stole the pension is probably shooting up or drinking it as we speak. How about the truth? Since when has that ever helped anything? You're not handing this at all well, are you? Come on. Tell me what it's all about. Meadows is hiding something. He's being very cagey. He knows more about the Simpson case and Johnson than he's letting on. You worried about it? Have it out with him. I should never have come to this. Don't let it go any further. Are you seeing this? Give us a name. I can't. Then. This garage I'm working for now. Half the cars come in in the death traps. Should be sent to the breakage yard, not back out on the road. I do hope you're not wasting my time. I want to know about local drug dealers, not dodgy car mechanics. I knew it. What? My boss is following me. I don't be ridiculous. No, listen, this guy's heavy duty. 
If you ask me, the garage is a front for drugs. You know, big time dealing. Have you actually seen any drugs moving in and out of the premises? No, not really. It's just an hunch. Hey, maybe Gary's not the only one in the family with a copper's nose. Well, that's all very interesting, but hunches don't make arrests. No arrest, no money. Look, every week without fail, they get me to deliver a car to the same address in Harrison Gardens. I'm dropping one off this afternoon. So? So, you know, it all seems a bit sauce, that's all. Come back to me when you've got something a bit more solid, all right? Oh, and make sure Gary doesn't know about our little arrangement. I reckon he's seen us together already. Yeah. Came around wanting to know what I was doing. Did you tell him? Uh, no. What, do you think I'm mad? Well, I don't actually care, but get it sorted. I don't want him causing any trouble, understood? Go on, off you go. You guys got any kids? No. Nah. Boy and a girl. This little girl's the best thing that's ever happened to me, man. When her mother walked out on me, I begged her not to take Annie. Tina wouldn't hear anything of it. The brown had already got to her. Look where she ended up. Hello, Annie. You going to come with us, darling? Good girl. Bye, Annie. So why don't you tell us who's selling your gear? Before another kid ends up without a mother. You know, I've talked to one of my informants. Any luck? Well, he works in that garage at Darrow Road. He seems to think they're involved in drugs. That's Ronnie Clark's place. Yeah. Well, he's as bad as they come when it comes to cars, but I didn't know he was involved in drugs. Well, my source seems convinced. I'm not so sure. Well, that could be useful. I'll look into it. OK. I need to see a doctor. I'm rattling, man. Get used to it. Please! Rob, I'm dying for a hit. Oh, well, you know what you've got to do then, mate. Don't start all that again. There's no way I can finger my supplier. Look, your woman's in the mortuary, your kids in care, and you're sweating like a rapist. What was that about not being stupid? I should have let him roast for ten minutes and give her another go. <sighs> not good enough. Don't do this to me, Rob. Let him rot. If we work something out on the charges, I'll tell you what the stuff comes from Ronnie Clark's garage. On Darrow Road? That's the one. Is that where you get your supply? Are you having a laugh? I don't go nowhere near him. Nobody does. My man's next down the line. Okay, so who is your man? I've given you what you want. Name him. Wake up! What do you think this is? There's a cold cell and a long night in hell waiting for you just down the corridor. All right. All right, I hear you. A deal goes down every Tuesday in Harrison Gardens. This guy ain't my man, but he does the same job. What'll that do? Go. Chopsy's decided to give us a day and location. Seems like a crisis of conscience. Good. Well, I mean, so he should. If he's responsible for selling the stuff that killed those folk in the first place, he's in serious trouble. Drugs come through from Amsterdam via a local garage. Which one? Ronnie Clark's, Darrow Road. Ah, right. Yeah. According to Chopsy, it gets distributed from there to a network of dealers. And we got details of a weekly bring-in at a location in Harrison Gardens. Well, that matches intelligence that I received earlier. So what do you suggest? Surveillance. Get Chopsy to set up a deal. No, that's far too dangerous. And if anything happened to him, we'd be culpable. Look, before you do anything with this, you're going to need more background. Is that clear? Go. Rob? Go. Man, there's nothing going on around here except a bit of wife swapping. Who's the army now? Whatever floats your boat. You know? Chopsy's put us on a bum steer. I haven't seen a car for the past half hour, never mind a drug deal. 
More tea? I told you before, I can't help you, Des. But that Johnson's a dirty, sneaky Judas. I mean, for all I know, you could be going down accusing me of all sorts. Look, these things have to be done by the book. You know how it goes. So there is something going on. I've got a right to know, Gov. The DPS will be in touch shortly. What for? You're under investigation. They're alleging that you committed perjury at the time of the fire. And he made them think that? Well, it doesn't matter what Johnson's told them. As long as you've been up front, you've got nothing to worry about, have you? You know, we should pack up and go home, man. There's nothing going on here. Here we go. Where are you going? To nick him. For what? Are you blind? Can't you see there's something going down right in front of us? Well, I got one word for you. Meadows. Yeah, I got another one. Results. He wants them, so do I. Rob. Rob! Lovely day for it. Get your senior officer down here. I know me rights. I'm a senior, as you're gonna get, mate. Possession with intent to supply. Found this hidden in his car, Sarge. I don't know what they're talking about. That's been planted. This is a fit-up. I'm a mechanic, not a bloody drug dealer. All right, son. worse if you confront her. Huh? I've got to find out what she knows. Come on, because you're making a big mistake. Don't go in there. Just go outside and wait. Hello, Des. What can I do for you? I can't believe me old man's been nicked on this patch. He's trying to freak me out. Do you know I even saw him the other night in a pub with Gina Gold? What's he doing with her? Try telling me some fairy story about him being a witness in some job. I know what's really going on. No offence, mate. Don't think he's her type. Look, don't be stupid. They don't fancy each other. Twisted losers trying to get at me, any eh? Trying to ruin my career. Why would really he do that? Because I'm the one that got him banged up for it in me mum. Right. I mean, who the hell does he think he is, eh? Take it easy, mate. We'll find out what's going on. Too right, we will. I gave you an interview. That should have been enough. Your statement contradicts the witness's account. My job is to report what you told me to Simpson's solicitors. That's what they pay me for. Your job? Simpson's a racist. You're black. How can you work for him? Des, you lied. You messed up. Don't make this personal. Personal? I think you're twisted. And this is a witch hunt. You and Danny Glay set Simpson up. This hasn't got anything to do with Danny. Really? Is that why he's done a runner? You got this all wrong. Have I? Leave it alone, Johnson. This is getting dangerous for you. <sighs> Too close to the truth, Des. Oh, shut it. You set fire to Sun Hill, didn't you? Didn't you? You watch your mouth. You don't know what you're talking about. Well, the way you're acting, you've just answered my question. Now get out. I thought I was dropping off a car. Right. And we just happened to find you with a kilo of Uncut H in a stashed compartment. I had no idea it was there. Oh, well, we might as well go home then. Come on, man, come better than that. You know, I don't care what you think. Where did you pick up the drugs? I didn't. I work at the garage as a mechanic. Brandon, why don't you send out for some pizza, because it's going to be a long night. 
Uh, I want to make a phone call. It's my legal right. Kerry's not going to do you any favours. I wouldn't want him to. Mrs Brown, is it? Where's Kavanagh? What seems to be the problem? He told me to get in touch if I remembered anything about the man who robbed me. And I do. You can tell me and I'll pass it on. No, I only want to talk to Tavener. Why can't you tell me? He told me he'd get the man who mugged me. And I want him to sort it out. Right. Well, I'll try and find him then. All right, give me the number. Have you seen Des Tavener, ma'am? Not recently, no. Are you right? Our elderly lady's got some information, but she'll only talk to Des. Well, you better make sure you find him. Yes, ma'am. What do you want? This is DC Kane here at Sunhill. I've got Alan Best in custody. Are you happy to take the call? Cool. Patsy. Hello, Alan. Well? She sounds familiar. Go on, off you go. So what's happened? You tell me. Well, there appears to be a bit of a misunderstanding. My trust has been abused. Oh, don't push it, Alan. You're hanging on a thread as it is. Just tell me what happened. Because as I told you, my boss is a major dealer. Here's me dropping a car off for the guy every week, and all the time he's using me as a mule. Well, can you get me out of here? Well, it's a bit tricky. We are talking about a kilo of heroin. Yeah, but I'm on your books. And that makes it worse. I didn't know it was in the car. Anyway, what good am I to you in here? Listen, you sort it, and I'll get you Ronnie Clark. I'll see what I can do. Come on, then. Where are they? Not bad. He said money doesn't buy his style. Who are they off? You're really lucky to have found a nice man, you know. Nothing like that ever seems to happen to me. What's the matter? Is it a bloke? I thought so. I just feel so ashamed. I'm just one of these people who just shouldn't drink because it always goes wrong, and now. Well, I've just made a complete fool out of myself. Who's the lucky man? Rob Thatcher. Oh, you want to watch him? He's not to be trusted. You talking from experience? Well, we had a fling, but I moved on. I got engaged last night. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. Don't tell anyone, will you? You know what the gossip mongers are like round here. I'm very sorry, Mrs. Brown. I can't find PC Taverner, so you'll have to tell me and I'll pass it on. <sighs> the attacker had an accent. Right. What kind of accent? Welsh, like yours. That certainly narrows it down. You better catch him. We'll do our best. And tell Taverner he hasn't seen the last of me. <sighs> Oi. What have you done to that poor girl? Which one? Marilyn on reception. Please. She's a consenting adult. You didn't waste much time, did you? Well, you did us. Look, sorry to disappoint you, but I'm unavailable. Oh, really? He was a lucky man. Then that'd be telling. That's serious. Didn't waste much time yourself, did you? Isn't that still there? Yeah, yeah, he's banged up in there. Okay, where are you going? Get out of my way, Tony. I want to see him. Look, just wait a minute. You can't go rushing on in there, shouting your mouth off at a suspect, even if it is your dad. Just wait until you've got all the facts, yeah? Gary! Mr. Worrell, nice to see you again. Hello, Josh. How are you? Where's Des? He's not here at the moment. Can I go out in Des's car? He promised me. Well, a promise is a promise, so you have to talk to him about that when he gets here, won't you? Excuse me. That's Di Worrell's little boy. We've got a situation. What's that? It appears that Thatcher and Kane have nicked my informant. What for? Dispatching a kilo of heroin for Ronnie Clark to the location on Harrison Gardens as per the intelligence he passed on to us this morning. So where does that leave us? Well, thanks to that just gung-ho attitude, our options have been rather narrowed. I warned him. Yeah, if we're going to retrieve anything from this, I need to bail my informant. Do it. Great. 
you make things worse. Why don't you give it a rest? I don't need your opinion right now. I mean, you only want to hear what I've got to say when it suits you. Like I'm your personal sounding board, someone you dump your rubbish on. Isn't that what friends are for? I mean, what was the point of talking to you yesterday? You don't listen. This is where it all went off. You shouldn't have gone to see Johnson. How can one little bottle with a bit of petrol in it cause so much damage to so many people? You know she'll go to the DCI. You found him, yeah? Mrs. Brown, you can't come in here. It's a restricted area. I don't give a monkeys about that taverner. I want to know if you've caught that tow rag yet. No, I didn't think so. Oh, come on, eh, love? Give us a break, eh? Don't worry, you won't see me again. But you should stop and think before you make promises you can't keep. See ya. Since when did you become a big-time dealer? You don't know what you're talking about. It's a bit of a mix-up, that's all. No, you're the only mix-up down there getting yourself arrested. I told you to stay away. This has got nothing to do with you, Gary. What, but it's got something to do with Gina Gold? If I told you that, you'd have to kill me. Oh, it's not down to me, Gary. Hey, if you want answers, go and talk to the inspector. She's the boss. Agnes is right, we're never gonna find that fella. You've got more important things to think about, like this speech you've got to give. If I bottle it now, it's gonna look bad. Might as well throw the towel in and hand myself in. Jack, you are so selfish. I will be finished if they find out that I know the truth about you and that fire. Look, now you've collared Johnson, you're gonna make it easier for him. Well, that isn't gonna happen, is it? Not now me and Sheila are gonna start a family. She's already got a family. She's leaving Patrick. I'm gonna look after her. Yeah. Have you got a problem with that? You know what I think. Fine. I want you two in my office after this. Any sign of Dad? No, but I'm sure he's on his way, sir. I and mean, there's no way he'd miss this ceremony. Well, I hope not. Did he say anything to you about his interview with Johnson? No, but when I spoke to him earlier, he did seem a bit distracted. Right. What's this all about, sir? It's probably nothing. Is he in some sort of trouble? It seems so. DPS are on his case. Excuse me. <clears throat> right, well, thanks everybody for coming. This is an important day for all of us. You know, in many ways, I'd rather not be here. But you can't change the past. You can't change the fact that Chief Inspector Conway was murdered in the line of duty. And you can't change the fact that six officers died here in the fire at Sun Hill. The purpose of this plaque is so as we don't forget. Not that any of us could. So, without further ado... Uh, and I'd now like to ask one of our officers to say a few words. Des Tavener. I feel guilty for being here, for surviving when all those other people lost their lives. Derek Conway, Andrew Munro, Kate Spears, Paul Riley, Sam Arker, Ben Haywood, and Di Warrell. Ordinary decent coppers, a lot of them. I can't do this. I'm sorry.
check. Sally, I think I'd like you to leave the station now. Your business here is finished, isn't it? Officially, yes, but I still need to talk to you about Taverner. Well, there's nothing more to say. He's been investigated by the DPS for perjury. No, Jack, this is a separate issue. I want to make a complaint against him. Yeah, well, you. now is not the time or place. Rob! You jumped the gun after I told you to wait. Yeah, Gob, it's my bad. I just thought that I... Well, that's your trouble, Thatcher. You don't think. The guy you arrested, he's just a patsy. He's a mechanic. The fellow we're after is the buyer and the seller. Hold on, Gob. We've got You still let it happen again, all right? So why wasn't he charged? We verified your father's story and bailed him to await forensics. How the hell did you work that one out? Just you watch your tone. With respect, ma'am, aren't we supposed to bag drug dealers up? I mean, either I'm going mental or my old man's got you well suckered. Don't you dare. I asked you before what was going on and I didn't get a straight answer. Is my dad an informant? I am not going to answer that. Because it's true. I am not going to answer that. And if you go around saying he is an informant, you could put his life in danger. Yes, we all had a lot of respect for Derek Conway. And all the others. Very sad. Oh, always be sad, you know. Reg. Sorry. Um, have you seen Des? Uh, no, Sancho. Well, not since the speech. What's going on? Has he said anything to you about Johnson? No, uh, but you'll have to ask him yourself. How are you doing? Can I drive the car? Of course you can, mate. Come on. Tell DCI Meadows I am not leaving until I see him. Is Hyde or tell him? I don't care. Just tell him I'm still here. Get ready. <laughs> <laughs> the good one, wasn't it? Try that on. Yo, you look dead cool, isn't it? I've got a girlfriend. Have you? Do you think you're a bit young for all of that? Have you got a girlfriend? Sort of. Look, uh, you be careful in here. Don't press too many buttons. I'll be back for you in a bit, okay? Okay. That kid obviously thinks the world of you. Yeah, well, uh, we've got a bit of history, haven't we? You know, Jess, I hope you're going to be around for your own child. Never mind having to cope with me. I've already told you I'm going to be there for you and the baby. When it suits you. Look, will you give me a break? I'm trying to do my best there. Can't you see I'm worried, Des? This is a huge thing for me. It's a pretty big thing for me as well. I know. That's why we have to be totally honest with each other. What's that supposed to mean? Sally Johnson. What about her? She seems to be on your case. Well, just forget about it. What about the DPS? I know they're investigating you. Well, they might be investigating me, but they haven't got anything. Well, why is that Johnson woman still hanging around? Look, Des, if you can't be honest with me, then I don't see how we can be together. Sally so Johnson's still in reception. She's insisting you see her. Just get rid of her. She's leaving. All right. Face it, Rob. She don't want to see you again, mate. Tell me the story and don't leave out the dirty bits. He got it together with a new bird on reception. But she was up for it, so I just simply answered the call. What about you and Kathy? I thought you two had a thing. Yeah, well, that's family in history books. She's in a serious relationship now. Is she? Yeah, I'll find out. Hey, Kathy. Hi. How are you? Good. How's your serious relationship? Who told you that? Who do you think? Well, a girl can change her mind. Change your mind? About Max. Max? I thought you'd dump that guy. How serious is that? Well, you know. Well, you'll be getting engaged next. Have you got engaged? Yes. What's well, funny? Nothing. I'm happy for you. Congratulations. When's the big day? What? When you're getting married. <laughs> Kathy, don't be like that. Jack, I told you I didn't want you in this station. And I told you I have a complaint to make against one of your officers. I think you'll find that's up to the DPS. This is personal. Des Taverner physically threatened me this afternoon. 
I see. Is that it? Look, he's under investigation by the DPS. What more do you want? I want to know what you're going to do about his behaviour. I'll sort it out. Don't you worry. I hope so, Jack. Because if you don't, I will. The man is a liability and a poor excuse for a copper. He shouldn't have offered his condolences to those people out there. As well you know. What the hell are you playing at? Why did you go and see Johnson? I wanted to see why she had it in for me. I don't know what's going on with you, Dad. But it doesn't look good. Thanks for your support. Support? Danny Glazed as a runner. I discover you visited Simpson in prison. Johnson's involved the DPS. You're all over the place. Support? Now, I asked you before if you got anything to tell me and you said no. This is your last chance. What is going on? You're a police informant. Go more or less confirmed it. Gary, I'm trying to do the right thing. Listen, she approached me. I wanted to make you proud. Don't lie. You come down here to try and ruin my career. You need to get back at me for putting you away, don't you? You're a sad, bitter old man. Stop this, son. What will Ronnie Clark say when he finds out his mechanics are grass? Don't do this. Well, you brought it on. What is it you want? I came here to try and sort things out with you. Oh, come on, Gary. Eh? Me and you. We're peas in a pod. I'm nothing like you. Oh, yeah. Your mother swore you were the image of it. Maybe you are. We need to talk. I'm not here. I don't want to lose you. Well, then you need to tell me what's going on. It's not as simple as that. Look, wait, will you? We knew that Simpson made the Chief Inspector Conway. It's not as if this is a miscarriage of justice. What isn't? Simpson's conviction. And what's that got to do with you? Well, we needed justice. Who? You and Danny Hayes. So you fitted him up? It's the only way. Why did you do it? He was going to get away with it. But he didn't start the fire, did he? And if Simpson didn't, who did? Sierra Oscar from 140. We're on the scene at Bassett Lane. It's right, mate. It's the police. You all right? What happened, mate? Who did this to you? Did you see him? Uh. <coughs> Next time on The Bill. Get out of the car. So you can do something stupid? No way! I do hope we didn't share your suspicions with anyone. I didn't say anything, man. Loose talk about informants caused a lot of trouble. Uh, <laughs> Do you know what you've done?